what is up everyone so in this video I want to actually replace the original seat post on my day home Mu SL Superlite this seat post is a proprietary seat post made by a company called Core and uh, as you can see it's a very different looking seat post that doesn't have rails it's only got a rail in the center so uh, it, while it saves a lot of weight the saddle selection is extremely limited so i cannot get any replacement saddles that's a little bit wider for my sit bone so unfortunately i have to replace this whole seat post which is the reason why i'm making this video today because with a lot of day home uh, folding bikes the seat post size is actually uh, quite thick and it's quite long fortunately i was able to go on ebay and find a perfect replacement match which is this one it's made by a company called light pro this is uh i think a very popular chinese brand they sell a lot of those in china so not only do they sell this aluminum seat post they also sell a lighter slightly lighter carbon fiber seat post that's about this long and about the right thickness I think 33.9 is uh, millimeters is actual thickness for a lot of day home uh, modern folding bikes. So this one should be an exact replacement. Let's compare the length. Right, it's about same length, maybe slightly longer than the original core uh, integrated seat post and the saddle. And we're of course we weight the. Uh, finished product and see what is the weight difference to see if there's any actual weight savings of using this proprietary single rail seat post compared to just a standard seat post plus a standard saddle. The saddle I'm using also it's just um, I actually have three of those already because this is the most comfortable saddle for me that I found. It's actually um, a stock saddle for the German bicycle company the uh, I think what's it called hey bike h-a-i-b-i-k-e so this is this comes with a lot of their uh, electric bikes but this saddle it's actually made or oem by uh, velo v-e-l-o it's a very large saddle manufacturer that makes saddles for all different kinds of uh, bicycle companies and this one i was able to find it for ten dollars so no brainer and it's extremely comfortable so i bought three <laughs> on three of my bikes and uh, so anyway I'm gonna be using this one on the folding bike as well um, so we're just gonna get started I'm gonna install the uh, the rail components onto the seat post and we're just gonna directly put it on the bike and see how well it does and then we're end up uh, we're end from there okay so I want to just quickly show you guys the um, the actual rail assembly parts here because some people might get confused. It's actually extremely simple and easy to assemble. So this is the top of the seat post from the Light Pro. All you have to do is um, drop this pin in here, and if you notice, this is this angle of the pin is actually slanted. So you want to have the one that have a stopper to be installed on the top part and have it stop on the bottom. So that way it doesn't actually, you know, fall down by accident. If you install it the wrong way and you try to install the rail, as you can see, it's easily sliding, it's easily slide out, which is the wrong direction of the post. So you'll want to install the one with the stopper on the top part of the hole instead of the bottom part okay so with that said you now have this bottom plate over here all you have to do is just drop it over there the bottom plate helps adjust the angle of the saddle once installed okay and uh, there are two very long screws those long screws corresponding to the two holes over here you're actually have to have the screw go in from the bottom and come out from the top. While it's coming out from the top, you'll want to catch it with one of the top rail holding piece over here. So this is for the top. 
and uh, it actually goes in from the thread over here. So only this part is threaded. The rest of the part are not threaded for ease of adjustment. Okay, so this is the basic concept of how to install this rail. The next, I'm just gonna put it on the bike and actually get the rail installed. So the installation of the saddle is actually kind of a little tricky. It takes a little time to get used to, but once you get it installed, um, it's perfect and it's very snuggle. The angle is very easy to adjust on the Light Pro. Um, and I weighted both my new setup with the Light Pro, which actually features a longer uh, seat tube and also a wider saddle. Surprisingly, this thing and this thing weights almost exactly the same, which is one pound and seven ounce, okay? Which is amazing because this saddle is actually quite uncomfortable. It's designed to be lightweight using only one rail. And uh, it does look pretty good. It looks pretty cool, pretty arrow. However, not comfortable, at least for my sit bone because I have wider sit bone. So for me, I require a wide saddle for my butt shape, okay? So if you guys find the original seat, you know, comfortable, there's really no need to upgrade to a different seat post. Because uh, for me, the reason is I need to use a wider saddle on the, on the rail. So just to show you guys what the proper installation direction is, once you have the saddle installed on the bike, you want to have the bumpy side in the front facing the bike's handlebar, okay? You want to have the bumpy side in the front and the empty side on the back. So basically you insert the, the pin over this way. What I did is I just had my rail, uh, had my rail securing the bottom plate, which adjusts the angle and just uh, kind of wiggled my, my way around to get the top two piece uh, securing the rail installed. And it's, after that is very easy, okay? Look at that, looks pretty good. And again, keep in mind that the Light Pro is actually slightly longer. So if you are slightly taller uh, than what your original day home was able to provide, the seat post was able to provide, uh, the Light Pro might just give you a little bit extra uh, on the height, okay? So if you guys have any questions about the Light Pro aluminum seat post, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe. And I should have more similar uh, cycling tips coming out for you guys. Okay, thanks again and uh, take care.